I'm William Spencer, and I do a ton of skateboarding and a ton of stunt work. I always love Jackie Chan movies, kung fu movies, and stuff like that. I think my overactive imagination kind of lit up, and I wanted to make skateboarding a little more exciting to me. So I just put those two things together, kind of. It all began for me with my older brother. He had a board, liked skating by himself, but wanted someone to do it with, so he kind of talked me and my middle brother into it. Over time, I ended up collecting a bunch of junk that I just felt like, oh, I could use this for a stunt or skateboarding. It's crunch time for me. I just got back from Austin. Now I'm leaving to go to Minnesota and then to England. Funny enough, my truck was uh, towed while I was away doing a stunt job and uh, the plates weren't current or whatever. Pretty much everything. I mean, most of the stuff that you'll see us pull out of here right now is stuff either we're gonna use for a skateboard trick or a stunt in some way. This barrel I may or may not have taken from a park close by. I just really wanted to figure out how to ollie into the barrel, nose and tail are on it, and then just swing and just basically wax the rim so that you can spin super hard. And then I figured out how to knock it over and do nose picks out of it. I do have a giant check from that contest, which is hilarious. I have never seen that before in real life, so it's pretty amazing. All right, you ready? I love doing that jump because it makes you feel cool, but it's not very far, which is nice. Stephen Thorne, how do we know each other? We, sh we met in New York. Yes. We shot the shit and became friends. We did skateboard and meet skateboarding in New York. All this stuff, even these couch cushions are super useful. But what's nice about that is it's a little, it'll take the sting off. So if you want to test something one time before you like kick someone downstairs, it's nice because you can hide that. It doesn't matter, it's a movie, a lot of it's fake, but it's cool because it's it's what you wouldn't think, of. and this is actually really dense. It's made out of nice goose feathers, and so it helps a lot if you don't want someone to totally get smoked. Yeah, like this, you wouldn't think anything, and then you see people. I put this like between buildings and done it, but it's really fun. You basically just cruise across it. You can use it for all kinds, and not just stunty, but skating stuff. If I was to describe that dude, I'd say he's probably one of the most generous people, probably to a default. And I would say, as far as friendship and hanging, like all the best things happen when we are just able to let go. And even like going to the DMV was pretty fun. It I was, mean, all that's things how considered. I roll, that's how all our friends roll. Did you know that as a man, if you lose an arm wrestling even once, you can't have a male baby? <laughs> <laughs> well, when the battery works, we made a little skip skip with it, but we're too Henry, there's that stuff we got. I literally have to catch a plane at four. You know how you have to be there an hour before? Well, thank goodness it's in Burbank, but like it's two twenty-one. So Will's the type of person that will help any friend in a jam. So you can't ever tell him no. If he gets in a jam, you help Will out. So we have a system now where we're like, all right, you're in that bad of shape, we'll do it, we'll do it. All right, we unload the rest of that crap, and then we're there. So what's the chain for? The chain is up for all kinds of stuff. We skate the chain just like a flat bar. I ride for three blocks. <laughs> yes, hammerhead. Man, that thing is good. I have double rails. I've been doing tricks where I flip to my board or jump really far down to it. The right distance where I'll break a skateboard if I'm not careful and just one try if I land wrong. So I'll put double rails to support it so it lasts a little longer. This is the other fun little jump that looks gnarly but it really isn't. Okay, now. Kids who are skating and want to either segue into stunts or do another job that's around it, Skateboarders really know how to take a slam, and so what's cool is that you should have all the confidence in the world from that, but secondarily, just know that people, you want to slam, but you don't want to overdo it and get worked because people don't like that. So you got to find that nice middle ground where you slam, it looks great, but you also don't get murdered because they're going to want you to do it like 15 more times. I've met so many people that are good enough to be pro at skateboarding, and their heart just in, isn't in it because they love it more than it, it's a business to them, and I think if that's you, keep it. Be passionate because there are so many people that look up to you for doing exactly what you want to do and you don't care that your name is on a skateboard. 